This is a mixture of titanium white and Payne's grey. Lots of white and relatively little grey. I will use this color as a background to create a monochrome underpainting, a grisaille, of a dune landscape with a cloudy sky. The advantage of a grisaille as an underpainting is supposed to be the separation of the challenges of composition, form and light from those of color. You actually only paint the parts that are either darker or lighter. Ah, I'm such a horrible greaser. To paint the light parts of the cloud, I use a cat's tongue brush. Its round top makes it very suitable for suggesting the bulges in the cloud. I'm increasing the contrast in the foreground and painting more details. It will contribute to a stronger sense of space. If you zoom in on the details, you can see that it all looks rather sloppy. Nevertheless, if you take a few steps back, there is indeed the illusion of a landscape with a huge cloud hovering over it. The paint for the blue of the sky is mixed with quite a bit of medium allowing the tone of the grisaille to still play a role. I like to paint a few details of the cloud early on, like the thin streaks that have come loose from the big cloud. I added just a hint of Indian yellow orange lake extra, an old Holland color with an insanely long name. I mixed my titanium white with a little old Holland brilliant yellow. No medium, just paint. Every time you thin down your paint, you will lose color. Luckily, there's always my thumb to create a rain shower with a simple movement and break the isolated contour of the cloud. When I look at the painting now, the color brightness is not bad at all. I expected the grey background to have more influence on the top layers. Summarizing, I will probably do this again. <laughs> 